Kurt Isaacson here with the brass tacks and hard facts of automatic nozzles. Here we are with the automatic nozzle. We're doing a comparison of what the automatic nozzle is designed to do. Regardless of the pressure provided from the pumper to the nozzle, it's going to give you a constant good stream, but at three different flows. Here, one of them flowing at 75 gallons a minute, still a good stream. We up the pressure, we get 125 gallons a minute, still a, a good looking stream, not a lot of difference in how the stream itself looks. Then we pump it up to 150 GPM, still same looking stream, but three different flows. The automatic nozzle is designed to always give us a constant good looking stream, but not the guaranteed flow. Flow comes from the pressure that the, the pumper is going to provide to the nozzle. Next, you see here we're flowing a two and a half at 150, 200, and 250. You can see all three have a good looking, good breaching stream, but three different flows. That's what an automatic nozzle is designed to do. Once again, the RPMs of the pumper itself got to provide the pressure to compress that spring to give you the flows. Automatics are designed to give a constant stream over a variable flow based on the pressure provided to the nozzle.